pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. In this next video example, Darren Brown induces a state of drunkenness in a college student without him drinking a drop. Video example, Drunk on Thoughts. What is this video about? In this video example, Darren Brown talks to a college student about what it feels like to drink his favorite alcoholic beverage. As he goes through the feeling sensations that occur while drinking, he brings the student to a state that he feels drunk and he hasn't had a thing to drink. Once he is drunk on his own thoughts, Darren shows him a secret word, and when he sees it, it will automatically trigger him into being drunk. Darren sends the word to him while he's studying in the library by text message, and as soon as he sees the word on his phone, he becomes drunk and staggers around talking to his friends. The video is quite entertaining and clearly demonstrates that someone can get as drunk on the thoughts of drinking as he could actually drinking. What does this example show and what does it mean? This video example shows that with the right hypnotist and suggestion, you can reach states that would normally be caused by certain drugs. I wonder what would happen if he were to drive in this condition and then get pulled over for a breath test. What if there was a hypno bar where you stepped up to the counter and for a certain price you could get drunk, stoned, or blitzed on any drug that you wanted to by hypnotic suggestion? Then as soon as you walked out the door, you would suddenly become sober, back to your normal state of consciousness. This example proves that our body is in fact just a representation and not actually biologically functioning. If our body was actually having a biological reaction or result, then it would be necessary to actually drink the alcohol to get drunk. And once drunk, it would take a certain amount of time to get back to normal, whatever that is. For best results, pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. Okay, let's look at this uh, illustration here. Normal reality. Normal reality, meaning of the person involved, okay? Physical meaning, drinking al alcohol, drinking alcohol makes you get drunk and giddy, okay? Physical meaning, actually drinking the alcohol, many drinks. What is the result? Student is drunk on alcohol. That's normal reality. God power exercised by skillful conversation. The very skillful conversation of Darren Brown. First, we got the physical meaning of the person involved, okay? And we got the physical meaning that drinking alcohol makes you drunk and giddy. But then the thought only meaning about thinking about drinking many alcoholic drinks. The physical result, student is drunk on alcohol thoughts. Hmm. Here it says in green, the ability has been elicited and activated in student's own life experience. Here it says the purple tuning fork is being struck in this example. The purple tuning fork vibrations are meaning get drunk and they resonate and elicit all the things that will match them. The gray tuning forks, which by, this, by the way are not being activated, gray tuning fork vibrations are sober meanings and they resonate and elicit all the things that will match them. So at the moment he's resonating with the meaning of get drunk. And so what happens? He gets drunk. Now remember that everything we do physically, all we're doing is conveying meaning. 
That's all we do in our entire existence is convey meaning and then elicit results from the meaning so conveyed. If you lift weights, what you're doing is conveying meaning. What do you get? What result do you elicit? Stronger muscles. If we drink alcohol, then we're conveying meaning. And what do we elicit? Getting drunk. But he's eliciting getting drunk by the thought of drinking alcohol, which is conveying the same meaning is actually drinking it. Once again, it doesn't matter whether you convey the meaning in a God power sort of way, where you just assign the meaning or think the meaning, or whether you do it in a physical way. Here, he could actually drink the alcohol, convey the meaning physically, and get drunk, or he can think about drinking the alcohol in the same way as the person was thinking about lifting the weights in chapter 1, and he can get drunk in the same way is the person thinking about lifting weights got stronger muscles. It's just that simple. Meaning is everything. The physical is not. Physical just conveys meaning. That's all. That's all physical is, is a way to convey meaning. Now, granted, that's the usual way that most people convey meaning because that's what most people, most people don't realize that all physical is about is conveying meaning. That's its only purpose. It conveys meaning. You elicit results. You go to take a step. You're conveying the meaning. You're having the thought that you're moving forward. Your body's represented with your foot moving forward. You take the step. You elicit the result of being in a new location. That's just conveying meaning. If you were really, really good, you could think that you have moved without actually moving your legs to convey the meaning, and you could appear in the new location. But that's pretty advanced stuff. That's that's beyond the scope of this book. That might be in the advanced book. That's beyond the scope of this book, but that is entirely possible. People have bilocated. There are many, many cases of that. And if you've never heard of it, once again, it's because it's not in your reality. But as you begin to experience a new expanded reality with some of these thoughts and some of these ideas that are in this book, then as your mind begins to accept this kind of amazing stuff, then you'll become aware of that kind of stuff and you'll hear about it. It'll come into your experience. You'll hear more stories about it. Here it says, clearly, this student is using his God power to assign the meaning to his thoughts of drinking as being the same as drinking. Remember, everything that we do physically is only for the purpose of creating and generating meaning. So we can actually drink the alcohol to create the meaning of I'm drunk. Or we can just create the same meaning by drinking in thoughts instead. Remember the multiple personality story of the person who let one personality get drunk and another one came out that wasn't drunk when it was time to drive home? To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 12, Segment Number 7. Let your quest for knowing continue.